In a significant escalation of violence in Manipur's Imphal West, two people, including a woman, were killed and nine others injured when suspected militants launched a gun and bomb attack on Sunday. Now, according to police, militants fired indiscriminately from hilltop positions towards the low-lying valley areas of Kotrok and neighboring Kadangband, killing two people and injuring nine others. Several houses were also damaged due to heavy shelling by the militants. This is as per reports. Now, security forces, including state and central units, have been deployed in the area to stabilize the situation. The Manipur police have also released a statement saying that alleged Kukki militants escalated the conflict by using high-tech drones to deploy RPGs against security forces and civilians. This marks a significant shift as drone bombs have typically been used in general warfare. Authorities now suspect the involvement of highly trained professionals and are closely monitoring the situation with police on alert. The hospital officials, in fact, have reported that of the nine injured, five sustained bullet wounds, while the others suffered splinter injuries from the bomb explosions. One of the deceased women, identified as 31-year-old Nagam Bam Surbala Devi succumbed to bullet injuries sustained in the attack while her eight years old daughter was injured on her arm. The sudden assault on the unsuspecting village there caused widespread panic forcing many residents including women and children and the elderly to flee to the safer areas. The state government, in fact, has condemned the attack. The Home Department released a statement in response to the escalation, saying, and I quote, such acts of terrorizing unarmed villagers are viewed very seriously by the state government, which is making all possible efforts to bring normalcy and peace to the state. The DGP has instructed all SPs to remain on maximum alert in all fringe area. Let's go across to my colleague Brijesh Pandey who joins us over the phone line uh, on more on this. Brijesh, uh, a very good morning to you. This is a significant escalation. You know, the police also is saying that this is a significant escalation of violence in Manipur's Imphal West. Well, you know, more than significant escalation of violence in Manipur, I would say that, uh, you know, this, has, this uh, shatters the lull. Uh, in, in violent activities uh, which was there in the state of Manipur, uh, Manipur for quite a while now. And uh, this escalation, you know, which has been, uh, you know, as per the police, uh, indiscriminate firing were used uh, from the hilltop towards the low-lying valley area and uh, putting, uh, you know, citizens at disadvantage, uh, drones being used uh, to drop bombs and RPG motors uh, being used uh, clearly marks uh, towards uh, a, a new spurt of violence. And I think it is it is going to be extremely worrisome uh, for the state government and uh, the, the, the security forces because, you know, Assam rifles, uh, two units of Assam rifles have been changed. CRPF has been brought back. Uh, there was a substantial calm. I wouldn't say uh, peace, but there was a substantial calm and lull in as far as violent activities was concerned. But I think this has shattered uh, the smoke screen of, uh, of uh, the alleged peace uh, in the state of Manipur and it has shattered how. I think this has put the state government on the back foot and uh, now the onus will be on the state government and the Manipur police and as well as the central police forces uh, to make sure that all those uh, perpetrators behind this ghastly act of violence in which uh, two people have been killed, nine have been injured, uh, should be brought to book. Otherwise, uh, you know, this, this, if this goes unanswered, then this will be seen as a assertion by uh, the militants and uh, not a good reply as far as the state police is concerned. As you uh, uh, rightly pointed out, you know, the DGP, uh, Mr. Rajiv Singh, has instructed all the uh, superintendent of police to be on the maximum alert. Uh, but the way uh, this uh, attack was carried uh, is, is, is something, you know, which uh, uh, which I, since we have been monitoring and, uh, you know, uh, televising it uh, uh, right from the day when the violence outbroke or even a week before, uh, you know, this is for the first time, you know, this kind of uh, drones being used to uh, for bombing and all has come to picture. So this has uh, further added uh, to the theater of uh, violence which Manipur has been seeing uh, for the last 15 months. Neha? Right, uh, Brijesh, and also, you know, uh, as the state government said that, you know, it's it's trying its best to bring normalcy back to Manipur. And we also often talk about 
peace coming back to this small northeastern state in India. But still, you know, there are these uh, uh, sporadic incidents that continue to disrupt the calm. The question really is, will normalcy truly return to Manipur soon and what will it really take to make that happen? Well, I think, you know, uh, I don't see money peace uh, returning uh, to Manipur anytime soon uh, because uh, there's also one, uh, you know, aspect of which, uh, which is ignored by many uh, is the fact that uh, the number of uh, weapons which are out there in the market, uh, out there in the open, you know, by, uh, you know, which have had been uh, by both sides of the fence, you know, be it Maitai's uh, or the cookies. And until and unless those weapons are uh, recovered, which have been looted from the state armory or the weapons which are being supplied from cross-border, until and unless, you know, there's a full stop as far as weapons is concerned, chances of peace returning or normalcy returning to Manipur uh, would be quite a haul. I think, you know, the state needs to crack down very hardly on anybody who is, uh, you know, propagating violence or indulging in violent activities irrespective of its ethnicity. And until and unless uh, the fairness of the crackdown is also there for see, I honestly don't see peace returning. There could be some semblance of peace as we have been witnessing, you know, uh, for the last, like, uh, for a month, there would be no violent activities, only uh, to have that smoke screen of peace uh, being shattered so badly as, had, as has been the case uh, in the violent activities which has happened in the last, last night in Imphalwa.